All right, all right, all right. The parts have finally arrived for the 64 Thunderbird. This right here goes on top of the column. You have to make contact with those points in there for the vehicle to be able to start with the key. And this thing does not work like that. And hopefully, once I install this, it's gonna change all that. So let's check it out. All right, where this is located is right up there. There's the one screw there. You can see straight up there. Yeah, there's one on that side and then there's one on the other side. You got two vacuum lines and you got four plugs and uh they're just the crimp on style plug so they're easy to get on and off but yeah it's got to be changed out of there so i'm going to change this up and see what happens yeah no doubt about it the easiest way to deal with this pull your seat put a moving blanket in or whatever you have to try to reduce the hump because if you're like me and you're fat and old this uh is not good for the back so uh yeah that's uh one suggestion that i have there it is right there like i said there's one bolt there and there's one on the other side and see how big that hole is for the bolt that's so you can slide it so you get it perfectly in the right spot so it starts every single time this one is original and the points are worn out so it's time to get swapped out all right there's the new one right there this plug really really hard to get off uh, you're gonna have to use a screwdriver or a pry bar try to try to lift each each individual terminal um, pull those out your two vacuum lines it doesn't really matter which way they go there's no in or out or valve in there or anything like that so it's fine like that um but uh yeah yeah so now i gotta uh, just put it up in place jam the two lines on it put the two screws on it and then uh set it in the right position of where the steering column goes to so all right, so we got the old one out. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's original. I'm pretty sure it's original. Now, uh, hook up the battery and see if she starts. All right, the battery is hooked up. Moment of truth. Yep, it works. There's the neutral safety switch. So, uh, yeah, cost, uh, about $130 for the switch and that's a really really good deal because everywhere else online they were over $300 and you can't get them this place had one in stock so that's just one less thing that's checked off on this this thing fires up now I got to figure out what the Ford dealer did with the horn and a few other things so yeah let's check that out we're gonna uh, work on the windows now we got a window mess here's that window mess I was talking about Ooh, it's a mess. It's a mess. But I got a new switch right here. It says the Tapco. It's a uh, Tapco Ford, whatever. And it's going to go in here. And all you do is it goes in like this. And you put your ground... Take your ground screw, sorry for the filming here folks, take the ground screw and uh, pop it off there and it goes right there. Put the bar on, if you got to clean this bar up, clean it up really good. Same with the other one if you want to make really good contact. This one was arcing on the center console so that's the reason why uh, I'm doing it like this. And then uh, the original ones. These original ones. Oh, this one's, yeah, that's good. Usually they're red. These are black. That's awesome. So that says right there that that's the driver's one. Right there. But anyway. All right, so this switch, when I took it out, absolutely disintegrated. Absolutely disintegrated. Where's the other half of it? There's that switch. Here's the other old window relay. Uh, right here. It completely blew apart. Completely. 
so you can see like the contact points everything's just uh mush the other the other two are like that the passenger's brand new i can't get any of the windows to work because it's the, i think the motors are gone but they could also be stuck so that's the next thing i got to do is somehow get the motors to become unstuck because the window's been up they worked apparently before but now they don't so i gotta figure that out all right i just confirmed there's power in the door in that plug it it has the power to go down everything the only problem is is i don't think the motor is working that is the only problem we're having right now is that motor will not work but sometimes they're stuck and as you push the switch you tap the motor turn your key on and then nope nope tried it a whole bunch I'm going to try tap, put the phone down and, or the camera down and uh, try tapping it and see if that works.